So what we're saying is, I can't say anything else about Jose. This video cannot have any information about Jose and any of the stuff that was mentioned about him. Especially, you said especially don't mention the fact that Ernie had said that he'd seen Jose around the property close to... Okay, I'll, 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 we'll, we'll talk about it and perhaps put that in another video. But yeah, all right. <laughs> So, this is going to cause a little bit of a debate. And look, there is a lot of you. I did a poll and it was saying, look, who do you think is the driving force behind all of this? And a lot of you kind of jumped on and said, look, Candace. Candace is the driving force. She is the element of this that kind of has to be watched. And this is my thoughts on that. And that is, look, it's very, very clear that Candace is being manipulated. She is being used. Or certainly it would appear so. Now, I'm going to leave a link down below, which is... Um, it was kindly sent to me via email, and I'd like to thank that person. I had seen it, but it kind of... it went to enhance what we're talking about here and that is that whenever Candace is on a live she is not the leader she is being led and she is seemingly easily led there has been mentions about how controlling Dom was and we've certainly seen her blossom in some ways out of Don's kind of shadow and look I'm not saying Don has got let's stop and say look we can't point the fingers at anybody we can, we just can't not and say this person did this thing they they all got a cloud over the head but what i'm trying to get to in this is that whenever we see candace she is being controlled by someone her lives are all about and what i'm talking about the more compass mentus lives where they are more purposeful and they are either to go for money or anything like that they are being led by somebody else it's not until Candace then starts to be on her own, away from everybody, that we then see this seemingly broken person. And look, some of you are going to say, look, she's an incredibly good liar. She's an incredibly good liar. We've seen things in the past that shows that she can manipulate, she can lie. And I get that. But my concern is that we are putting all of our eggs in one basket and that basket ain't the right one. And look, I'm not jumping on anyone's bandwagon. I still can't rule out that something may not have happened at this um, or may have happened at the horse pond. Um, I still can't get that picture. I still can't get that scenario. But my concern is that Candace is showing a lot of signs of being manipulated. And the question is why? What is going on around her that would cause so many people to seemingly be wanting to manipulate her? Is it because she knows more? And is she? are people fearing that she could drop somebody else in it or say something about someone and that backfires? Are they scared that she's going to drop herself in it so they're keeping a close eye on her so she doesn't drop herself in it? But someone is controlling her. Someone is pulling the strings. And I think we need to focus on what the motives are of that person. Because if we can find out who's pulling the strings and who is the, and what the motivation is behind wanting to control her so much, then we might get a step closer to what really is indeed happening. Let me know down below what you think. Is Candace truly this mastermind criminal who has either killed her child and getting away with it, or she knows of something that's happened and she is hiding it? Or... Is Candace a small piece of a much bigger picture and she is now being seen as a liability and there are people around her who are now trying to control the narrative around her? Let me know.